Marie. I'm good, thanks Marie. We've come back, this is the first time we've been to your place, yeah. but we've met before, right. haven't we? Absolutely. So, when was that? <laughs> well, I met you two years ago. Yeah. And uh, when I was called into the Ingenuity Centre and yeah. as the cook. So yeah. I listened to a little bit what was going on and I was like, I gotta do this. Gotta do this so a year later yeah. when you came back, I did the master class. So yeah, yeah, fantastic, great. yeah. So you've got a great home system here that we're looking in, a nice greenhouse that you've built and um, you're growing all sorts of stuff. One interesting plant here. Um, <laughs> it's legal in Oregon. Yes, yeah, legal in Oregon, we should point that out. Uh, let's look at your system now. Um, you've got some lovely fish tanks here. You've got some beautiful cedar around them, which is really, really nice. It looks lovely. Thank you. And in one, you've got a whole lot of what appear to be um, carp fish of some sort. What are they? They're koi, and we They're only koi. have koi here. Only yeah. have koi. Why is that? Because of the weather or something? Mainly because of the weather. We didn't want to go with a heated system, so we have a cold okay. water system. Yeah. Very hardy here in Oregon. So this is a bit of an unusual tank, too. It's a round one, an IBC, a round one. I've not right. seen them before. Right. And it looks very, very nice, doesn't it? Right. So you're growing some catnip. You were just showing me that before. Yes. And uh, you're growing that for one of your herbs for... Anti-inflammatory um, purposes. Anti -inflammatory and again, it's calming, yeah. great yeah. for ADHD kids. Yep. Keeps them calm. So you've got a standard system, a chop two system, where the water comes out of the fish tank, goes through a filter, winds up in the beds, and then drains back to a sump. Absolutely, yep. yes. So I have so the simple. media beds, and then I have the one float bed. And then we have this bed here, which we just use the watering. The fish water? Yeah, just mm -hmm. use the fish water to water, to water all these your guys. favorite plants we yeah. can see here. Absolutely. And you've got some other white tubs here. Is that your next extension, is it? This is our next project, and mm -hmm. I thought that's what you'd flown over from Australia for was to tell me what to do here because oh, I picked those up for, ten, yeah. <laughs> for 100 bucks oh, for the four, great. 25 bucks each and I thought wow. you know what uh, yeah. maybe we can utilize them and have another system here yep. and uh, so they're they're not done yet we've just picked them up and just laid them out got the just got the new uh, fish mm -hmm. tank in place and uh, filter will be in place so yeah I'm looking for some ideas so easy. we'll chat about that later yeah <laughs> and we've also got some uh, regular garden beds here as well absolutely uh, and I usually water in. those so we have some piping that comes off the other tank up mm -hmm. here overhead here mm -hmm. and uh, we can water these with the aquaponic water so that's I think that's an important part about home systems is not to be rigorously tied to just aquaponics it's good to have some other things around as it gives you a lot more diversity doesn't it yeah, you exactly. know